How to heckle the other team's fans. Chomping at the bit to support your team? Get in the game by learning to heckle the other team's fans. You will need information on rival fans, wit, brevity, timing, and a comeback. Step one, learn the enemy's weaknesses, a star player's issues, their city's dubious distinctions, or the habit of choking down the stretch to use as fodder for your taunts. Step two, make your insults concise so you can get your taunts out before another play makes them irrelevant. Short comments are also easier to remember if you're drunk. Step three, add wit to your heckling. A few smart barbs can pierce even the thickest skinned rival. Don't get too clever though, or your jabs might not land at all. Step four, find the perfect heckling moment. Look for times when the other team makes an error, when your team makes an especially big play, or when an opposing team's fan makes a sudden and total ass of themselves. Surround yourself with sympathetic fans who can laugh, cheer, and boost your confidence. Step five, stay focused. A great follow-up taunt to your rival's inevitable comeback will cement your reputation as a heckling master. Base your follow-ups on your opponent's comments to show you can think on your feet. Step six, don't go overboard. Once you've embarrassed your target a little and won your peers' respect, let it go if you want to live to heckle another day. Did you know? The term heckler originated in 19th century Scotland, where workers who heckled or combed out flax were known for teasing visiting politicians at public meetings. 